welcome back friend today in this video i will show you how we are doing blood grouping in lab i hope this video will be very helpful for the beginners who joined the laboratory or the students who are studying mld or those who want to know how we are doing blood grouping in lab so basically we have three antiseras that is containing antibodies anti a anti b and anti d sera and we need patient whole blood that is containing antigen and why we need whole blood because antigens are present on the red cells now first one i am showing that is anti a sera anti a sera will always be blue in color because this color assigned internationally so what wherever you will go or which company you will buy you will always find anti a sera will be blue color this is from j mitra company storage temperature for anti a sera is 2 to 8 degree centigrade and we have, when we are not doing blood grouping we have to keep our uh, seras in fridge only and when we are doing blood group that time we have to bring at room temperature anti b sera is yellow color that also we will store at 2 to 8 degree and one more thing this anti seras we can use for slide and tube method both this is from atlas medical company and yeah you see it's written slide and tube test method both we can use this was anti a sera blue color in this also and these are in this bottle and this is anti d sera that is colorless in this bottle all 10 ml anti seras are available so according to the number of blood groups you can make order that one month how many anti seras you need and anti d sera will be colorless so anti a will be blue color anti b will be yellow color and anti d will be colorless for this we what other things we need we need patient whole blood as i told because antigen present on the red cells and we need slide and the method we are using for blood grouping that is forward blood grouping method that is the routine method used in each laboratory in forward blood grouping method what antigen is present on the red cells that antigen we will report so if patient now we will take two slides if patient have uh, and it's best to write always file number because every patient have different file numbers but names are same so take three drops of whole blood now uh, i have edt whole blood but if you are pricking you just prick and take three drops and always remember to keep some distance between three drops so that this anti seras mixing time it will not mix with each other and so that uh, false result will not come because if false blood group will report it will make huge problem then if if any transfusion reactions will happen that will be very difficult so it's big responsibility to report blood group correctly now add three drops and one more important point in your lab you always decide the sequence of blood grouping so that if you keep blood group on mixing and any other staff came they know the sequence that a b d now we are keeping sequence a b d first blood group we will always drop a second circle we will drop b and third we will drop d and now with the help of uh, dropper or stick mixing stick we will mix and just remember when you will mix and um, always change the side now you see only two times i can use now i will throw and i will take new dropper now you see i mix first now i will change the side and mixing this because if you will mix with same side uh, obviously there will be chance of analytical error and now there are two methods of mixing for one minute at least you have to mix either you can keep on mixing rotor or by hand now this i keep on mixing rotor for 100 rpm and by hand how we will mix i will show you just carefully keep the slide in your hand and move slowly slowly like clockwise you see it's clockwise moving and at least 1 minute and after that we will report our blood groups now i will show you these two results 
these are showing o positive because it means the patient have no antigen a no antigen b but have antigen d now you see 916 is a positive 917 is a b positive it means that patient have all antigen a b and d 918 is a positive 919 is o positive 920 is o positive 921 is b positive 922 is o positive 923 is a positive 924 is o positive 925 is b positive 926 is a positive and 927 is o negative it means this patient don't have any antigen in their red cells not a not b not d so but it means they have antibodies a b now you see this group blood group a means now first column is red cell type second column is antibodies third column is antigen present in the red cells if patient blood group is a it means their red blood cell type is a it means they have antibody b in their plasma but the antigen present in the red cell is a that's why we will report blood group a next blood group is blood group b it means the patient have antibodies a and antigen present on their red cell is b antigen but third one is group ab it means the patient have no antibodies and the patient have both antigens a and b that's why we will call blood group ab universal recipient because they can receive blood from a also they can receive blood from b also but as patient don't have any antibody so there will be no reaction will be happen so blood group ab is universal recipient next blood group is blood group o blood group o means the patient have both antibodies anti a and anti b but patient don't have any antigen in their red cells not a antigen not b antigen that's why we will report that blood group blood group o and as you know that blood group o is universal donor they can give blood to anyone blood group ab is the universal recipient because they can receive blood from anyone because they don't have any antibodies that will make reaction and blood group o is universal donor because if they will give blood to anyone then the the antigen reaction will not happen so this video is completed here i hope that you get idea how to do blood grouping in lab thank you so much